uh, I'm going to teach you BSAG 516, which is practical crop production, Kharif crops. And in which, in this, we are going to cover our first practical, which is known as crop planning, raising field crops in multiple cropping systems. So first of all, I want all of you, uh, uh, do you know what is crop planning? Any rough idea if you have, you can share with me. Any idea what is crop planning? The practical? So basically our first practical is crop planning. Our first practical is crop planning, raising of field crops in multiple cropping systems. Now, in this, what is the aim of the practical? Selection, crop and variety is to be calculated in the farm and amount of area is allotted for particular raising of field crop in multiple cropping systems. Like in crop planning, if we are growing multiple crops in a single year, in a single time, so we allot a plot according to that. If we have one acre of land, so we divide into half. If we are going to two crops, we grow half of acres of crops in each crop. The relative claim for acreage of the competition crop with scheme should have leguminous crop. Like I have told you, pulses or pulses are also known as leguminous crops. So, uh, they have told that we should have one leguminous crop between a year or between the season or between the crops in rotation to maintain soil fertility and other physical properties. All of you know the pulses of leguminous crop which fixes the nitrogen in the soil have various, fertility, uh, have various uh, nutrient enriching properties in the soil and also it means the chemical properties of the soil. Like different types of nutrients are available in the soil for absorption by the plants. Third is utilization of inputs and other resources available on the farm without wasting. Like if, uh, if we have tractor, if we have labor, so we should use the uh, our resources properly. Like we should not waste. If we have seed available with us, we should know uh, we should not waste our seed while sowing the seeds. The seeds should be sown optimum and extra things should be taken care of. Selection of crop as per facilities available for power, irrigation, input, labor, transport and preparation of budget plan for each. So in this, uh, my dear students, it is told that crops the crop which we have to plan in our growing season these are dependent upon these things like if we have power if we have electricity at our field irrigation facility is natural or it is artificial or we have a bore motor we have a lot of water available inputs like fertilizer water required seed seed treatment everything is included label and transport the road is proper there to reach the farm or not the labor is available on a on an optimum level and within the money constraint or not and preparation of budget plan for each crop so i will tell you what is budget plan budget plan is like a money bill plan like our government prepared a budget plan for our citizen like this uh, the budget plan for the crop is like it is a excel sheet type uh, you can say table in which we plan, uh, we write our cost, we write our cost and we also write our profit after selling the crop and 
we prepare a budget that this much cost will be there for growing this crop and this much we can earn from it like it tells you it is a, a tabular form budget plan like it is beneficial for the farmers to prepare so that he can know in advance that this much he can save on a particular crop and if there is unfavorable conditions or un unfavorable uh, crop growth so he can simultaneously manage its uh, cost and everything he can manage his monetary purpose at home next is selection of season so basically you know there are three seasons in which we grow, grow different types of crop like one is summer season which comes from february to june after that the main season kharif season which comes from july to october the in summer season we basically grow vegetables like tomato uh, musk melon watermelon okra chili tomato capsicum so these are the crops which we can grow or we can grow the pulses crops this is the season in which we can grow pulses crops also next is kharif season kharif season is the season which comes between july to october what is uh, the main crop of this season is rice the main crop of kharif season is rice we, we sow the rice crop by puddling the soil and then transplanting the nursery to the main field in the july year july year august month the last season which is important which is also important season of uh, indian subcontinent is rabi which is known as pool season which comes from november to january basically in this season we grow basically in this season we grow wheat crop wheat crop maize crop sugarcane sugarcane is also planted in this season and many more next is crop rotation what is crop rotation so basically crop rotation is the method of growing different crops on the same field in a particular sequence so that the productivity the capacity the nutrient efficiency of the soil is maintained one of the example is one of the crop rotation example is maize and wheat like we grow maize in uh, some uh, kharif season and the wheat is grown in rabi season and in between the uh, summer season months the crop is left as fallow land like anything can grow there so that uh, the soil can repair itself another crop rotation method is like growing of paddy in kharif season after that the wheat is grown in the rabi season and after that when the summer season comes uh, one month uh, the soil is left fallow and after that moong the pulses crop uh, which provide uh, nitrogenous for ability of the soil is grown i hope all of you are clear till this like next is next is crop rotation i have told you what is crop rotation why it is useful what are the benefits so crop rotation is growing of different crops in a same piece of field in succession so that the productivity the soil capacity soil fertilizer ability and chemical properties of soils are maintained and i have given you very good example of the uh, different crops next is rotational intensity rotational intensity ka kya meaning hai what is the meaning of that rotational intensity is calculated by counting the number of crops grown in rotation and is multiplied by 100 and then divided by the duration of the rotation like rotational intensity is known as 
number of crop grown in rotation divided by duration of the rotation in a year multiplied by 100. Now, so next will be cropping intensities, which is known as CI, which is known as CI and rotational intensity is known as RI in simple form. So what is cropping intensity? It is the ratio of total cropped area to net cultivated area, which is multiplied by 100 and represent in percentage. What is means cropping intensity ka kya matlab hai? Total cropped area, like if we have one acre of land and we are going uh, three crops in a year, so total cropped area will be three acres, right? It will be three acres. Net cultivated area will be only one acre because we have only one acre of land. But the number of growing, uh, but the crops which we are growing is three. So the total area, cropped area, kitna ho in one year will be three. Divided by one, multiply by 100. This is known as cropping intensity. This is known as cropping intensity. Next, we will cover. Next, we will cover. Next, we will cover guys multiple cropping index, which is known as MCI. Multiple cropping index. This means it measures the sum of areas under various crop raised in a single year divided by net area available for that cropping pattern and expressed in percentage. It is generally calculated for each cropping pattern separately. Like Multiple cropping index is equal to, I show you total number of crops in a single year divided by area occupied by a single crop multiplied by 100, multiply by 100. Another definition of it is like guys, the multiple cropping system will have this formula. MCI is equal to total number of crop grown plus their respective areas, like their respective areas multiplied by net cultivated areas multiplied by net cultivated area multiplied by 100 it is known as multiple cropping index it is the ratio of total cropped area cropped in a year to the land area available for cultivation like if we have four acres but we have only used two acres in a uh, for cropping so multiple cropping index will be two divided by four because four was the total area multiplied by 100 it will be you know what will be the answer 50 per 50 percent will be the multiple cropping index or multiple cropping intensity So these things you have to write in your practical.
so in in conclusion in conclusion you have to write that we have learned about the cropping pattern and we have also known as different types of cropping system which are used in which are used in our different seasons we also came to know about rotational intensity cropping intensity multiple cropping index this you have to write in your own language the conclusion what you have learned in this practical okay it was our today's practical i hope you have understood everything so uh, you have to write this practical into your copy solve the numericals of cropping intensity multiple cropping index rotational intensity and i have given you the homework of you numerical you have to solve me and send okay thank you have a nice day thank you sir thank you sir